Today I want to talk about bicycles and tensegrity. You probably know about bicycles, they're pretty familiar. Tensegrity is maybe something you haven't heard of though. Um, tensegrity is a term that was coined by Buckminster Fuller. It's a combination of the words tension and integrity, and it refers to structures that are made out of elements that are in tension and elements that are in compression and nothing else. This is a pretty simple tensegrity structure. It's made of rubber bands at the top and bottom and going vertically at the corners here. And then it's got these three steel wires diagonally on the interior. The rubber bands are all in tension. They're, they're getting stretched. The steel wires are getting compressed. The rubber bands are pulling the ends of the steel wires toward each other. And when you build it with rubber bands, this is pretty flexy but it still can support some, some pressure. Um, it's a technique that's used in architecture, but you can also apply it to bicycle design. So, back to our basic bike. Um, let's, let's get rid of this frame. Uh, come on now. Ah, yeah. So now we've just got the important parts. The seat, the wheels, the pedals, the handlebars. Um, you could fill that middle area in with whatever you want, so long as it connects all the pieces. If you want to see an interesting historical design, take a look at the Peterson bicycles. They're quite different. Anyway, back to tensegrity. We'll start with a simple cross frame, just two bars. This is what a lot of folding bikes look like, more or less, and some other small wheel designs. They usually have gussets and cross bracing and things, but they're basically these two bars. But if we want to go for something lightweight and strong and apply tensegrity principles, we're going to want to keep this and add some wires. Those are the light gray lines running around the outside of the traditional diamond frame. And those serve to hold the distances between the various parts. Those, those keep everything under tension. And you can see this is a quick little model of a frame built that way. Again, I'm using the steel wires and rubber bands for the outside. And there are actually some bikes that have been built this way. I'm not sure if any of them have really been quite commercially viable, but Brazilian designer Flavio Deslandes created this. It's my favorite, I think, of these because all of the tubing in the frame is bamboo. So that's bamboo and steel wires. I think he used a bit of an old bike for the chainstay there, which is reasonable if you're working with salvaged parts. I'll put a link in the description. There's also Paul Brown's Santa Rosa, named after my hometown. Um, same idea. It's that cross frame with wires. This was designed for a a 1989, I think, exhibition called The Art of the Mountain Bike. And coincidentally, Joe Breeze of Breezer Bicycles created the kite, a very similar design for the same exhibition. So those are some of the things that you can do with tensegrity and bicycles. Um, I hope to come back and look at this again in the light of what you can do with recumbents and tensegrity because there are not so many explored avenues, but there's a lot of potential there.